We will now look at the design of an Internet Exchange Point. The Exchange Point core, as we've already mentioned, is an Ethernet switch. And it must be a managed switch. In other words, where the operator can log in to the switch, configure features on different ports, and manage the performance and behavior of the switch itself. It must have reasonable security features. In fact, EuroIX has documented typical details they would expect an Ethernet switch for an exchange point to have. The Ethernet switch has superseded all other types of network devices for an Internet exchange point. These days, a small starter exchange point would have a small managed 12 or 24 port gigabit Ethernet switch. There's really no purpose or anything to be gained for going with anything smaller than this. At the other end of the scale, we're now looking at Ethernet switches that can handle high densities of 10 gigabit Ethernet, 40 gigabit Ethernet, and even 100 gigabit Ethernet, with 400 gigabit Ethernet now being talked about at the top end of the range. Each ISP participating in the exchange point brings a router to the IXP location. Note, however, that with increasing availability of fiber access, ISPs are now connecting directly to the IXP without provisioning a dedicated router at the exchange point location. This router, a border router for the ISP, needs an Ethernet port to connect to the exchange point switch and a WAN port to connect back to the ISP backbone. And of course, the router needs to be able to run BGP. The IXP switch is located in one equipment rack dedicated to the exchange point. The rack could also contain other operational equipment that's used by the Internet Exchange. If the participant ISPs are bringing routers, these are always located in neighboring or adjacent racks. Most exchange points try and avoid having a member equipment co-located in the same rack as the IXP switch. And this allows the exchange point room to expand as the exchange point grows. Copper connections, usually unshielded twisted pair, are made for 100 megabit or 1 gigabit connections. Fiber is used for 1 gigabit and higher speeds to connect to the switch. For the peering setup, each participant needs to run BGP. They need their own autonomous system number, and it needs to be a public autonomous system number, not a private ASN. Public AS numbers are readily available from all the registries, and of course, an AS number will be assigned because it means the participant will be using BGP to talk to multiple other participants, and indeed, to their own upstream providers as well. Each participant configures external BGP directly with the other participants at the exchange point. They may choose to peer with all participants or peer with a subset of participants. The choice is entirely up to the participant.